morning guys i hope everyone is doing great you already know that we are going to talk about interview questions that were asked as part of tcs or tata consultancy services but apart from that one more important thing to talk here in this video is the reason for rejection so let us see the mail first so and this video contributor is one of our subscriber friends so here is the mail that we got so this interview was for a 3.2 years experienced candidate and we got this mail on 7th august 2021 so here is the mail hi team you are doing a great job today i have given an interview for tcs for java rule i was not selected the interviewer told has a feedback as i am giving more bookish answer i need to brush up my practical uh, so this was the reason for rejection and the interview went on for one hour and personally i do feel this is a very genuine reason that even if i am taking an interview and someone is giving 100% bookish knowledge then uh, even i will reject because uh, because when someone is giving 100% bookish knowledge uh, we somewhere lose confidence on that guy we are low confident on that guy because uh, usually people who are having real time experience hands on experience don't uh, prefer to give bookish knowledge so if you are preparing for the interview so prepare but uh, whenever you are answering don't look as if you are uh, have come prepared here always be casual and uh, by explaining the real time examples more and more and you need to explain the answers that is the key here uh, if you are going through some google site and give exactly the same scenarios or same examples that have been used in that site so there are a lot of chances even though you give all the answers but your rejection rate would be definitely high so that was one of the important thing i would like to discuss and this was the right reason to reject a candidate okay then we'll move forward with the questions so i feel uh, our subscriber friend shared only the answer that he was unable to answer so here are roughly nine answer nine questions he has shared with us and we'll be talking about the answer at the end of the uh, video as well so first question was if there are two objects of the same class and same parameters is passed what will be the length of the list how to overcome it to be honest uh, maybe uh, there is not there won't be nothing would be happening here uh, because list allows duplicates and the length would be two uh, i don't know like what to overcome it here or uh, maybe if you are using set then we need to uh, have the equals and hash code method overridden but if you are using list there is no problem with the usage the next question scenario based question if you have four beans classes a b c d out of it which is the best way to do dependency injection out of it a and b are mandatorily needed to be present rest may be optional like may be present or may not be present so basically if you have this kind of dependency injection i would prefer to go with setter injection so because you can partially uh, inject the beans there so setter would be the right option here then what is concurrent modification exception so here i have tried to frame the answer as well so let me see where is yeah here is the answer so concurrent modification exception exception is a predefined exception in java which occurs while we are using java collections that is whenever we are trying to modify an object concurrently without permission so concurrently modification exception is present in java util package and here we can have a questions on fail fast or fail save iterators as well Mm, then the question here is sorry what is the difference between bean and component so we can have a an answer so i have tried to answer it in the best possible way so difference between bean and component so at the right component det auto detects and configures the bean using class path scanning whereas bean explicitly declares declares a single bean rather than letting spring to do it automatically at the red component does not decouple the declaration of the bean from the class definition whereas at the red bean decouples the declaration of the bean from the class definition at the red component is a class level annotation and whereas at the red bean is a method level annotation and we need to have if at all we are using at the red bean we have to uh, annotate the class with at the red configuration but the same thing is not applicable when we are using at the red component the next question what is lock really wait, wait method or sleep like when i think when the lock would be released on wait and sleep so basically wait is uh, like somebody has to notify 
and sleep is like we'll be mentioning the time in milliseconds so same thing i have tried to answer it here these are like sleep method is used to pass the execution of current thread for specified uh, time like we have to mention the time in milliseconds whereas uh, for wait someone should uh, notify it to to start the execution so these were the first five questions then there are questions on what are the different levels of thread executor framework I, I to be honestly i couldn't understand the question like different levels of threads like if at all we are talking about the jvm threads we have different levels of thread but in the bracket if we are talking about executor framework maybe the question would be like what are the different types by which we can create a thread so there are couple of ways to create threads out of which one is executor framework as well so next question is if ordering of rest url is mandatory for request parameter or path variable uh, i don't think so uh, we can use a thread path variable and by passing the key we can get the value uh, i don't think the order uh, order is mandatory how to create ci cd pipeline uh, there is a big process here like uh, because even i am not completely aware of the process i am still trying to learn that thing i uh, couldn't answer this if, if anyone knows it they can answer it or else you can find it on it on google easily then the last question what are the advantages of immutable classes so uh, if at all you if you are not able to answer this question always remember string class and and just recollect the scenarios where you have used the string class so that will definitely give you this answer so i have listed out few here immutable objects are thread safe so you will not have any synchronization issues immutable objects are good map keys and set elements since this typically do not have do not change once created immutability makes it easier to write use and reason about the code and you can use it as in the parallel programming as well uh, apart from that we can use it as uh, in the caching as well so these are few advantages of immutable classes and then here is the complete mail that i have received hi team you are doing a great job today i have given an interview with tcs for the role the like java role and he was not selected so there is nothing to worry see rejections are part part of selection so nothing to worry about the crying symbol like emoji that you have just no need to use that everyone would have definitely got rejected in some or other face like in some or other interview so it's nothing wrong like in, no one is going to say you anything so here the so this with the list of questions nine questions that were shared and he says that i heard people easily crack tcs interview but i think i couldn't answer this question so maybe i should stop giving interview please make a video for this i don't stop giving interviews everyone will definitely fail when they try to give interviews if you are watching this video and if you are here still so don't stop you will definitely get an interview this this is how we learn actually you fail you come back home you address the issues like where you have not doing good and you learn there i hope uh, you will get your job very soon all the best for that and if you haven't subscribed us you can subscribe is like the video share the content to other technical platforms or provide the feedback in the description as well if you are on our channel for the first time you can visit our channel and take the advantages of other videos as well and if you want to help us out you can reach our amazon uh, affiliation link in the description while you are doing any amazon orders and thank you that's it for now and all the best for your interview preparations